Okay, I really should be doing my chemistry homework right now, but I can't resist the temptation to do a quick five-minute video on um, something I, I was. I, I've been on the phone for over two hours about this issue. Um, the Alpha Stim is a therapeutic device that uh, alleviates insomnia, which is a big problem of mine, my biggest problem, and for which I take trazodone, but I don't like taking it because it gives me a hangover. Um, it treats anxiety, depression, and chronic pain. But it is not very well known among the medical establishment because this therapeutic device has very small profit margins that cannot advertise at the level of a prescription medication. It's very cheap to produce, you know, benzodiazepines, trazodone, and, um, and uh, antidepressants, and then to sell them, you have huge profit margins. So you you can contribute large amounts to medical schools, and you can put advertisements on televisions, and you can send out um, people to talk to, uh, to doctors and to convince them, convince them that their medications, that their treatments are the most empirically proven and the most safe and effective uh, ones that are out there. And um, unfortunately, this is not the case. Um, this is only preliminary research, so all of this has to be taken with a grain of salt. But researching this Alpha Stim therapeutic device, it has there's, it's been out on the market for over 30 years, and it's been clinically proven more effective than most antidepressants, most anti-anxiety medications, and most medications for insomnia. And there's been no adverse side effects reported to the FDA in over 30 years. I know this sounds completely absurd. Sounds like I'm making this up. This sounds like complete fantasy. But I can show you the FDA documents. I can show you the documents from the FDA. I can show you the, you can go on to research databases, onto medical research databases if you're in college and look up the double blind placebo studies, the mechanistic studies, the EEG, EEG studies, the fMRI studies done by independent government organizations and other independent organizations. You can look at all the research. This is the most widely researched therapeutic device in the world, and it's most widely used by the U.S. military to treat post-traumatic stress disorder. And if you call um, military hospitals and ask them about the Alpha Stim, they'll tell you that it's very effective. But outside of military hospitals, it is not widely used. Um, I cannot say why this is so. This is from the preliminary research. But what it does is, if you don't understand, your, your brain goes through different brainwave states depending on the time of day and whether you're sleeping or not. Um, for example, when, you're, when you sleep, you go from an alpha brainwave state to a beta to a gamma and so on to lower brainwave states. Obviously, your brain goes from highly active to lower brainwave states as you fall asleep. So what this Alpha Sim device does is you attach, sounds kind of goofy, but you attach two electrodes to the side of your head that release electrical um, electricity at you know at static, static, static electricity levels. It doesn't hurt at all, and at the wavelength of, of uh, alpha alpha at a alpha wavelength, and they've shown through fMRI, EEG, and other brain scans that your brain does sync up. With these, um, with a, with this electrical stimulation, and puts your brain in an alpha wave state, which makes it, which makes you much, which reduces stress, and makes it much easier to fall asleep. It's great, and I have a lot of problems with insomnia because my mind's always racing. I have ADHD, so my mind's always constantly racing. I'm sure you could probably tell from other videos that full of ideas and ideas always, especially at night, I'll just have all these ideas running around my mind and it's kind of hard to just sit down and mellow out and just uh, let my mind just kind of slowly just like shut down like the computer. So that's why the alpha system is nice. It's also good for stress because it naturally puts your, it takes your brain from a highly, um, it takes it from the um, fight or flight response mode, which I forget what wave state that is, to the alpha wave state, which is a more calm state. It basically it calms you down by putting your, putting your brain in an alpha wave brain state, which is calmer. 
so it's, it, it, it calms you down, which is important for sleep, it's important for anxiety, it's important for uh, depression, so you, you, don't, you don't worry as much, it's important for post-traumatic stress disorder, and it's been proven empir empirically, uh, empirically effective, it's not addictive, uh, and there's been no adverse side effects reported to the FDA in over 30 years. You can't say that about any other treatment for any of those issues. I don't believe you can say that about that about that about any other medical devices on the market. No adverse side effects reported over 30 years of use. Over 8 million times it's been used. Not one single adverse side effect. Not one. And yet it's not widely used because they don't have it. And I talked to the guy who I actually talked I believe to one of the, um, the, the top level managers, who did I talk to at Alpha Stem? Let me go into my email. Uh, let's see. Where, 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 where is it? Robert, I forget his last name. Robert at uh, EPII at Alpha Stem. I forget what his last name is. I'll have to look it up at point in time. I'll put it in the annotations. And I don't believe he's aggressive enough in marketing this, but you know, I work at a hospital and I'm going to St. Joseph's University, or at the very least, I'm going to Temple. But I'll be in Philadelphia and I'm starting a blog in healthcare and I'll be going to every single hospital in Philadelphia uh, interviewing um, people with different heads of departments about like. You know, new um, press release. You know, if they did, if they you know started, if they restructured the ICU, I'm going to do a 20 minute interview with them regarding that as part of my independent blog or independent website regarding healthcare in Philadelphia. I've already interviewed people from the hospital. I've interviewed Dr. Wine. I've interviewed. I'm going to interview people from every different department at Cape Regional. So you get the ball rolling. So that once I'm in Philadelphia, I have plenty of content. So people see that I'm a good interview viewer. I ask good questions. I'm going to read at least 20 different books on healthcare. So that by the time I'm I transfer in September, I have a lot of I have a, I'll have a lot of working knowledge, and I'll have a lot of things to say, and I'll ask a lot of good questions. And that way, they'll want to stay in touch with me, and I could potentially. Will make it will make for great networking opportunities. But the point is, I'm also going to talk to every single medical stu school student, student, every single healthcare administration major student, and every psychology student, and every psycho and every psychiatry student, and talk about them about this issue. If further research demonstrates the fact that there that this device is more effective than most prescription medications, but it is being being um being scorned simply because Big Pharma uh, has, such big, has such influence over our medical schools because they give such big donations and over the FDA. And if you watch the FDA, FDA hearing um, where, the, where the Alpha Stem, uh, where the Alpha Stem, I forget what the name is, EPII, what does that stand for? Anyway, they went over to the FDA and asked the, uh, for the Alpha Stem to be reclassified from a class three to class one, meaning from, which means from class three to class one, I mean class three to class two actually, from uh, highly dangerous to moderately dangerous, but class one meaning is has no danger at all. And it really should be a class one medical device because there's been no adverse side effects reported in over 30 years. So it should be a class one therapeutic device. But they refused to listen to that and despite the empirical evidence said well um, you know there's not enough empirical evidence even despite the fact there are thousands of studies proving that it's safe and effective because the people that are working at the FDA are just out of GlaxoSmithKline they're just out of major pharmaceutical companies they are corrupt it's a revolving door and they don't want the Alpha to be more widely used and I don't want to sound you know spiritual but it's, it's a simple corruption it's just simple corruption that happens in every country and it's unfortunate but anyway that's the end of this video we'll talk about that about this more in the future